Hello friends, how's everyone doing today? Do you wonder how you can further your career? Well, I'm here to help. My name is Sarah Lillian. I am the founder of Hair Everywhere Mobile Salon, a social media and booking app for professionals in the beauty and wellness industry to connect, um, get, list their business and, you know, get out there. So welcome. Thank you for joining me today. I love Mondays. Mondays are all about marketing and putting yourself out there. And it's a magical, magical time. I love Mondays. There's always a little room for a little spark of that little magical boom, boom, you know. And as we speak, my my website is actually blowing up. So I'm, I'm a little like, oh, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> hi, Nita. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tom. How's everyone doing today? Share where you're tuning in from. So today is all about continued education and the importance of continued education. I myself have been in my industry for 15 plus years. I started at the very bottom of the totem pole. <laughs> I was 14 years old and I was a shampoo girl. And what I would do is I would sweep up hair, I would shampoo people, I would mix color for other professionals. So I was essentially um, a bitch. <laughs> And, and that absolutely serves its purpose in any industry. You do have to start at the bottom. I recognized from a very early age that my interest was in beauty and wellness. So I wanted in and I wanted in as soon as I could possibly get in. So as soon as I could get a job, I was like, I want a job at a salon. <laughs> I was so excited. I didn't care. I would get down on my knees and I would scrub, 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 scrub. And I, and I would stand behind that shampoo bowl and I would just watch in awe and amazement at what they were doing. How did they know so much? How, how, you know, they just had people coming in one after the next. I'm like, I want that job. I want people to come sit down in my chair and go, yes, I love what you do. And then come back and come back again and again and again and again. So what I would do is I would go up to these professional stylists and I would ask them and they would teach me. That's why they would have me after a certain period of time, they were having me mix color for them. Like, wow, they trust me to do this for them. So I started learning chemistry and that's exactly what that is. Hi, how's everyone doing? Share where you're tuning in from. Happy Mondays. So that's where I started. I started at the very, very, very bottom. And that's a great place to start. So the benefits of continued education are you can build a large client base, which in turn means that you will create a steady stream of income. How awesome is that? Who doesn't like money? You share amazing and inspiring stories. Ah, oh, thanks, Teresa. Mwah. Okay, so build a large client base, build a steady stream of income. Can't go wrong there. So by continuing education, you keep ahead with the changing industry techniques and technology, which is constantly changing and growing. In any industry that you become in, you get yourself into, you're not gonna start off as knowing everything and your industry is never gonna change. It's not gonna happen. Let's just be realistic. When you get into an industry, it's going to grow, it's going to manifest, it's going to blossom, it's going to evolve. And you're going to need to know more. You're going to have to take yourself to that next level. You're going to want to nurture your creativity. You're going to want to channel your confidence and go, this is what I'm good at and this is why I'm good at what I do and to share that with other people so that they know they can turn to you because you have taken the time and the energy to get to that point. And then you can further enhance any kind of relationship you have, whether it's with um, 
your colleagues, if you have colleagues, or if it's just with your clients, you're able to put that out there. So does anyone have anything they want to share about what they've done to continue their education in their field? Kara, you're coming in from South Africa. Awesome. Well, welcome, welcome. What time is it in Africa? It's 11 a.m. here. Good morning, Laura. How are you today? Thank you for joining and tuning in. I'm honored to be here and share this space with everyone. Okay, so we're going to keep on keeping on. Hello, hello, hello. So even the most highly sought out and trained professionals in any industry have to learn, first and foremost, that they are a businessman. What you have to do is sell yourself, your services, your goods to a client and you have to put yourself out there. So what you're doing is you need to learn how to advertise, how to market yourself, whether you're in a salon or not, because it's a career built on building clients and building relationships with those clients. How do you reach a broader spectrum? Is by learning <laughs> how to be a businessman. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's not it's not actual rocket science, but sometimes we just need that little jolt, you know, to say, oh yeah, that's right, I can do this. You know, you don't have to spend a ton of money to learn these things. There are plenty of seminars, workshops, training, coaching, mentoring. I love mentoring. I actually mentored with Coach Nick and he's absolutely amazing. I'm sure you've all have met him on the Akashic Academy Network. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend mentoring. And I mentor with professionals in my industry as professionals, as well as prof bleh, professionals in other industries that can help elevate me to that next level. So whether I'm working in a salon or if I'm working for myself, I still have to put myself out there and let people know, hey, hello, this is what I do. So I need to learn how to market myself. But one of my tools that I use to market myself is social media. And I love social media. It is readily available for us. It is what everyone is doing and getting into. And it's a great way to connect, to put yourself out there, to go, hey, Again, this is who I am. This is what I specialize in. This is why I'm so good at what I do. This is what I love. This is where I operate from my, in my heart space. And I love being here and being able to put myself out there. It's a great way to network, to connect, and to learn things from other people. And I, and that's exactly what I created with my app, the Hair Everywhere Mobile Salon app, that's a place where people can socialize, they can watch live shows, they can um, put their business out there so that people can just push a button and go, I'm interested in this person. This is amazing. So that's why I do what I do. It's, it's a way to utilize all of these tools into one product and say, here, there you go, it's for free. You don't have to spend a lot of money to continue your education, to get yourself to that next level, to put yourself out there, to, to learn speaking skills, because when you're working with people, it's very important for you to know how to speak and to not get stuck in your comfort zone. You have to break through to that next level, next level, next level. It's okay. I used to be terrified to get in front of a camera. I was fine with modeling. I could model all day long. I was fine. But as soon as I knew that the camera was, was rolling and I was live or whether we had edited it later, I would just get stuck and I would freeze. And like you could see it in my face. I'm like, oh my God, the cameras are rolling. I'm freaking out right now. I just, I don't, I, I'm stuck. But I knew, I knew in my heart that I had, I had to get over that fear. 
because what I wanted was worth so much more through it. So stepping out of that comfort zone is huge and learning how to step out of that comfort zone. Sometimes you do have to take a mentorship um, program or finding someone who is doing what you're doing and ask them, how do you do what you do? How do you step through that threshold so that you can shine? You know, and for what I've seen in the beauty industry, it isn't just about being beauty, beautiful or aesthetically uh, appealing to someone's eyes. It's about letting your inner greatness shine. And that's what I've been doing is, is sharing that with people. A lot of times when someone sits in my chair, it's not just about, you know, how do you want to look? You know, it's, it's about connecting with them, talking with them, learning about what they like and what they don't like and how you can better serve them. People sit in my chair and it a lot of times turns into a, a coaching session or sometimes they will have something to teach me, but being open to learning new things, then you will, you will learn a lot. And I've learned a ton of things from my clients that, you know, we've developed in our relationships. So seeing the value in your clients and then the, the clients will see the value in you when you're open to um, being of service to them. So it is just an absolutely rewarding process to take each little bit and say, okay, I, I can take this tool and utilize it to help me. Now I can take this tool and utilize it to help me. To never be capped at that's it. That's as far as I will go and stay stuck in that spot. Nobody wants to stay stuck in that spot where you're not going to go any further in life. You're going to be that's it. <laughs> and I felt like that a number of times in my life. I mean, I started this industry when I was 14 years old and I am now 32. So that's, that's a significant chunk of time to be in an industry where I wanted to learn all angles of it. And then I get to this level. I'm like, okay, I'm never going to go any further. And I really felt like that for probably about a year where I kept getting into a salon and trying to use that salon to break through these thresholds, okay? And I'm, okay, I'm gonna learn this product, I'm gonna learn this color line, I'm gonna learn this, and then I'm not building a, a client a relationship. And that is your number one is that client relationship. Aside from all the other BS with the, this person said that and that person did this and who really cares? It really doesn't matter. None of that crap matters at all. What matters is you and your relationship with your clients. So I was focusing so much on you know, their tools and their products and their this and their that, that I really wasn't able to build a solid foundation with my clients. And I'm going, okay, well, I'm focusing too much on what other people are doing and all the craziness around me where, you know, at one point in time I lived in Maryland and I had an entire booking of 15 years worth of clients that were just gone when I moved. And I had to start all over again. Like, who are these people? You know, <laughs> what are you doing? What do you want? What kind of products are you using? <laughs> and um, I, it, it was, I had to relearn my industry all over again because I was using brand new things. It was horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Lisa says, Einstein failed language. I love Einstein. I was just thinking about him today. His crazy hair. And I mean, I just absolutely love him to pieces. So many inspiring people who have done major, major, major things in this world have failed miserably. My app, I've made three, this is my third time I've made this app. The last two I scrapped, you know, and I could say that's a complete failure. I messed up horribly, but I had to stop, 
go back, educate myself, and go, boom, I'm gonna do this again. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go. I mean, I fucked up, I don't know how many times, but you know what? Who cares? This is my passion. This is why I love doing what I do. This, this is coming from my heart space. I feel creatively inspired. I know it's a way for people to connect and put themselves out there so that they can market themselves. They can connect with other leading experts. They can re-educate themselves. They can share their content. Boom, you know, why not? So I did it. I took the time to go back and I utilized these tools that are readily available. Anything you want to know, just Google it. That's my dad's wise words of advice. If I can't Google it, I will Google it some more. So you can always find something out there to help take you to that next level. You don't always have to pay big money for a class. You don't always have to go back to school. You don't always, it, what you have to do is just know this is the next step to get me to where I want to be. So I'm gonna take a second and read our lovely post. Teresa says, yes, I love Coach Nick and all, all and the ways he's helped me. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. The first time I, I talked to Coach Nick, I was like, oh God, I love this guy. He's so awesome. <laughs> we just laughed and I felt instantly like I, like I was just able to open up and say, okay, this is where I'm stuck and this is where I want to be. And it was just, he made it so easy in my head to go, oh, that that was it. <laughs> it was so simple. It was so silly, but I did it. And so yes. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. Um, I see. Lisa says I had a lot of marketing and getting my degrees, so I have some ideas. I just need a product. Oh, very interesting, Lisa. Dara says, what's your opinion on furthering your business without any degrees or courses? The richest men in the world were all terrible academically. Well, I mean, honestly, the best thing is just looking, putting yourself out there and researching as far as you can. It's important to know marketing tools and speaking tools because in, in this day and age, it's such a fast paced, you know, um, world that is just making a single post and saying, hey, you know, I do this, you know, I do that. You know, people are just going to keep scrolling and keep scrolling and they're not really going to take the time. I mean, how many times have I <laughs> individually posted to actual friends and saying, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what's going on. Check it out. And they're like, what do you mean? What? What do you mean I should click this link? What I don't understand. What what is this? <laughs> I and that's okay. That's completely okay. We're, we're in a world of scroll, 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 scroll. I don't know what's going on, but I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling and I'm scrolling. And that's <laughs> just where we're at now. So um yeah, I mean figuring out how to utilize uh, social media networks and find out like the algorithms of how they work they can be beneficial but i would say the most important thing is the that client relationship because you want that person to keep coming back so that's your bread and butter right there is those client relationships so letting a message that a client gave you sit and sit and sit in your phone for days at a time is not gonna Build your client relationship. It's important to ask lots of questions. Ask lots of questions to your clients. Um, ask lots of questions to yourself. I mean, my goodness. I mean, sometimes you just need to take the time and go, you know, is there something that I could be doing to improve where I'm at? And to be open to constructive criticism. Because there have been times, uh, let me tell you, a lot of times in my life where someone has come to me and said, Sarah, I think you could be doing this. Or, you know, I don't think you're doing that. And it's affecting this, 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 and this. 
And if I automatically just got furious and angry, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm doing bad. <laughs> what do you mean this sucks? You know, I mean, how dare you say that of me? You know, I'm, I'm actually hindering myself by automatically becoming on defense mode. So now when someone comes up to me and they say, Sarah, you know, I, I really think that you benefit from that, 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 you know, it's affecting this, 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 and this. And then me taking the time and stopping and listening to what they're saying and go, you know what? I'm human, I'm not perfect, and that's completely okay. But maybe I should take this as, as an opportunity Thing, an opportunity <laughs> to take this constructive criticism to better myself. Whoa, who would have thunk it, you know? So that's what I've been doing now. Being open to constructive criticism can actually further your career. <laughs> so you can even ask your clients honestly. How do you really feel about what I'm doing? Is there something I could be doing that's better? And going and researching those specific things. I mean, it might just be that you're real stark with people and you know they're they're sitting with you and you're you know, not not really engaging with them. Yeah, sit down in my chair. Okay, what do you want? You know, okay, how's that? Good enough? <laughs> Shit, people hate that. They're like, oh, that person, oh, okay, they don't care about me. And yeah, I mean, there's going to be people who want nothing to do with you. They just want you to handle your business and leave them alone. You know, they might be in a mood or something. You kind of have to gauge that in your clients. But being a little more lively, a little more comedic, a little more um, open, you know, you gotta let them in. These are relationships that you're developing with your clients. So, Karit says, education is like a book. Every page has different lessons that one can use to grow in the field. Oh, yes. Bing! I like uh, Margarita's little, um, is that there's stickers, little stickers that you can, that's, that's adorable. Love is my universal language. Yay, Margarita, I absolutely love, 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 love that. And Carrie says, first attempt in, failure equals first attempt in learning. Yes, so failure is never failure. It's just one step closer to success. And that is absolutely beautiful, powerful, amazing stuff that I, I love seeing people's wheels turning when they start, oh yeah, you know, this is what I can do for myself. So that's why I do what I do. So if anyone has any questions, any comments, any anything, they wanna contact me, you wanna learn what I do to get to where I'm at, or if you wanna learn how to download the app and join and get into amazing content, you can actually watch my show on the app. You can download it in the App Store, Hair Everywhere Mobile Salon. You can visit my website, www.hairwearmobilesalon.com. Or you can private message me. Again, my name is Sarah Lillian. I am here to help and to better serve you all. And I'm wishing everyone a absolutely magical, magical Monday. May you be open to new possibilities and to take your business to that next level. So with that, I'm going to close out. And I love you all. Love, blessings, and joy. Bye.